Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to obtain, how to access, and how to install the free MTF indicators for both MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. Now, before I dive into anything, I would like to mention that if you do require any support for either of these products, all support will be done on community.optimusfutures.com. This is our community forum. If you're not aware of it, you can easily sign up for a free account there and ask any questions you have on this indicator, as well as pretty much anything else trading related. I, if you're not familiar with it and you need the link, I will post it down in the description below. So please head over there for any and all support related to the MTF indicator. That being said, like I mentioned, I'll be walking you through the installation process of this indicator. It is fairly easy to do and the process is essentially identical for both MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. Now, if you are watching this video, it's likely that you've already downloaded the indicator files and are looking for a way to install it. If you have stumbled upon this video through other means and are interested in our free indicator, you can head over to our Gumroad websites. I'll also link these in the description down below. There's two different sites, one for MetaTrader 4, one for MetaTrader 5. Like I said, they're the free indicator, but they are a bit different as far as the files that are needed um, to put into the program. So just keep that in mind. For this video, we'll be focusing on the MT5 version though. So if you would like to um, obtain these free indicators and you're on our Gumroad page, all you need to do is head down to the right over here. You'll see there's a name affair price box. All you need to do is price or enter in zero under the price field. This will make the product free and then click on I want this. From here, all you need to do is enter in your email address that you'd like your um, receipt emailed to as well as your license key and the indicator files emailed to. Once you have that entered in, you can click on get and this will begin the process. So this will give you a receipt. You actually have your license key right here in your receipt. Keep in mind that only one license key can be active at one time. Being that the indicator is free, there's no need to share it with anybody. Just download the indicator and you'll have your free license key here. And speaking of downloading, you also have the download link right here. So we can simply click on that and that will begin the prompt for the download. Now keep in mind, this will automatically prompt your download. When you are using Google Chrome, for whatever reason, Chrome marks this as a not commonly downloaded and potentially dangerous file. We can assure you that this file is not dangerous. For whatever reason, this only happens on Chrome. If you do use Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox, you likely won't run into this issue. But as you'll notice down in the bottom left hand corner in our little download tray here, we are prompted with this message. To avoid this, you can just click this upward facing arrow and then keep uh, click on the keep option. And as you can see, this will now grant us access to the indicator. This will prompt us with a zip file. It should automatically navigate you right into the actual file of it. If you are prompted with the zip folder, you can simply just right click and then go you choose the extract all option. Just let me go back real quick. I'll bring up the zip file just so you can see what I'm talking about. See, these are the two different files here, both for MT4 and MT5. If you are prompted, if you use like WinWare or, you know, a different zipping file uh, program, you can just right click on it and then do extract all. Either way, you'll be prompted with this data folder here. We can go through this one more time and you can see you get um, prompted with a MT5 starter guide. This is a PDF file as you can see here. This is what it looks like. This is pretty much just going to give you download instructions listing off what exactly is included in the indicator and give you a small rundown of how to use it and what exactly it includes. Being that we are watching the indicator installation video, you can use that as a reference point, but it's not absolutely necessary for this video. So now that we have everything downloaded, we'll want to open up MetaTrader 5. And from here, the first thing I suggest for you to do is head over to tools in the top here, scroll down to options, click on expert advisors, and then click on allow DLL imports. This is absolutely necessary. If this is not enabled, the indicator will not configure properly. So just keep that in mind. 
Once we click OK, we can now proceed to actually installing the indicator and it's very easy to do. All we need to do is head over to file, open data folder. We'll bring our data folder over here and we'll also bring over the MTF indicator folder so you can see exactly what needs to be done. So this right here is our MTF or MT5 data folder. This should look almost identical on MetaTrader 4. The only major difference here is you might see this folder as MQL4 rather than MQL5. Either way, the process should remain identical. Just left click on this folder here. Now you'll be prompted with a bunch of new folders. Click on indicators. And this is where we actually need to drag our indicator files into. So we can now head over to our MTF indicator files. Once more, click on indicator files and you'll see there are two files here. There's an MQL5 program file, which we need to drag into here. And there's a MTF.dll file. Again, these are going to be almost identical on the MetaTrader 4 version. The only major difference here, this might say MQL4 rather than MQL5. Once you see both of these files, pretty much just left click, hold and drag, and we can drag this over to our indicator section over here. Now you can pretty much just close this out. You'll see both indicator files are de designated in their correct spaces. So just close this out now. If you want, you can either restart the platform or now you can head down to the bottom left hand corner into your MetaTrader navigator here. If this isn't open by default, you can go to view and then click on navigator. From here, right click on indicators and click on refresh. And you'll see the option for MTF trend. And just remember, like I said, if you do close out the platform and restart it, you don't need to do this option of right clicking and refreshing, but you, that's up to your choice. So now that we have DLL imports enabled and we have our indicator filed installed, all we need to do is left click, hold and drag on this indi indicator section here, specifically on the MTF trend file, hover over our chart and let go. We want to make sure that allow DLL imports is enabled. If not, enable it. And then we need to hover over inputs right here. Under license key, we can now head back to the Gumroad page or the email that we received in our receipt. So if we actually go to our receipt now, like I, you'll see here, you will have your license key listed for you. So you can just copy this. Head back to MetaTrader come into the input section under license key and paste. When you click OK, you should be prompted with a license agreement. In the bottom left hand corner, we just need to click on next and read through the license agreement. Once you get to the final page, then your agree button will become activated. If you do agree to our terms and conditions, you can click on agree and this will automatically activate your indicator as shown in the top left hand corner of our chart. One last thing I would like to show you is to avoid having to insert in your license key every single time you activate the indicator or apply it to a new chart. What we can do is create a template for ourselves. This will, like I said, just avoid the fact of having to actually input your license key every time. So if we want to create a template for ourselves and make our lives a little bit easier, right click on your chart, open up this menu here, hover over templates, click save template, name it whatever you like. I'll name it MTF just to make it easy and click on save. So now we have an MTF template. What does this do? This allows us to easily apply the indicator onto any new chart along with the license key. So it's automatically active on our platform. Just to show you what I mean, I'll open up a crude oil chart right here. And what I'll do is just right click again, head down to templates. This time, since we just saved, you'll notice there's an MTF option. Now, all we need to do is left click on the MTF option and our MTF indicator will become active as you can see in the top left hand corner. And that's pretty much it. So for now on, whenever you open up the platform, it should automatically save your indicator here. If not, being that you have a template now saved and applied with an in license key, 
All you need to do is just right click, go to templates and then click on MTF. Again, if you need any further assistance with this indicator, we do have the free PDF guide that gives you uh, the starter guide, pretty much just guides you through the installation process and some info about the trend indicator. And as I stated at the start of the video, all support for this indicator will be done on the Optimist community. So again, if you're not sure about that and you need the link for support, please head down to the description box below and we will answer any questions you have about the MTF trend indicator, whether it be installation or the method behind it, we're more than happy to help you. We hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more MTF content, trading podcasts, trading advice. And as always, thanks for watching.